Do you know why the show is called First Look? Because it's the first time you're looking at certain things. It sounds like you've heard that before. No, huh? I came up with that all by myself. Really? Did you ever see that one, The Smell Lab? I did not see Because you're about lab. to. Here it is. E do Johnny Bananas. All right, now. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can spot you on this one. When you think of scents, great open. fragrances, and aromas, you may think of this. This was a, this was a really, okay, so just this intro. That, okay, just to give you a little background on this episode. So basically what I do is I visit a smell lab okay. in Kansas City. What a smell lab does, this this lab works for uh, tout, like powders like Gold Bond and deodorants and that sort of thing. Okay. So they test how well their product covers up smells on human bodies Ew. like BO. They're like wine connoisseurs, but instead of smelling wine, so they, they smell they armpits. Rank. They could rank... Who smells the worst? Not, not like just the they, worst. They, they rank BO, basically. If they were to smell your armpit and your foot, they could break it down into 20 different categories. Well, my armpits don't smell, so. They could break it down into 20 <laughs> different categories of the ones that we did, we focused on were cheesy, musty, and Ew. maybe dusty. I forgot the other one. Oh, musty and dusty. Musty and dusty. So, uh, so we went, so for the day, so for that day, I had to be a smeller, right? Okay. And this was my first season of doing first look. So we did this whole shoot where I'm smelling armpits and smelling feet. The bosses, yes, and talking about you, were so appalled by this episode. They were like, we can't hear that. Well, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I would want to watch you smelling musty and dusty and ranking it. And cheesy. Oh, and cheesy. And misty and moist. <laughs> Ew, I hate the word moist. So, okay, well, how do you think it felt to me? I did all this. I put my nose and my smell in harm's way for this episode, and it never made air. Until they repurposed it, and they were like, let's make, like, it's like a perfume commercial, and he's going as part of that. So that's why we filmed this. So we filmed this whole Yeah, I was here for this ad. fake perfume ad. What was your favorite part? Um, well, it's not shown in the episode, but when you sprayed the axe can out of your butt, like the giant 12 year old boy that you are. Look, it's shown in right here. Look. You know what? Watch. Wait for it. Unleash your energy. It's coming. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that when I watched it. Well, I'm very happy the producers decided to include that moment. It's a great moment. Oh, here she comes. There it is. Look, there she is. My hair looks I'm great. Right now. You said fragrance job. Look at that. Why, That's why, it. Why, why don't, you, you should have a happier look. Why, why, you should have a happier What's look now? on your face coming you in. Can't look at you. <laughs> Hello. You look so over life right I'm there. at the shoot right now. I was over life at that job. point. I said, what watch you flip your hair in a shower for an hour. Kansas City. How is that any different than what you're used to but watching? What you may not know is that mm, these odor masking products go through a far less glamorous process before hitting the store shelves. A job that only a few can oh, stop. Oh, I'll bring you God. back. <coughs> yep. Ew, you actually Buddy. just smell their arm. You just smell real humans' armpits. We had to take worse. So they had to run around for an hour. Okay, these guys ran around for an hour. Then. You take a styrofoam cup and you cut the bottom off and then you stick it in their shirt so it like really like funnels the the, the, the aroma right near your nose. And but first we had to go into this laboratory and smell these different there's chemicals that mimic the smells of you of your body, right? Okay. One of them is called isovaleric acid, which you will see. I've actually become an expert on this. Wow. And isovaleric acid mimics body odor. Okay. So what we had to do is there are these different little beakers that had different intensity levels of isovaleric acid. And I had to smell them and then rank them on a scale of one to 10, which one smelled the worst and which one smelled the best to calibrate my nose. So that's this part. My job search, I'm headed to the center for sensory analysis and consumer behavior at Kansas State University. No, this is an actual Physician, science. Odor judge. Oh, must, to help guide must you through this smelly journey is Dr. Ew. Martin Talavera and his assistant, Tyler Murley. 
talked with Oliver was the man. We evaluate products based on the senses. Where and was this in Kansas? It's going to be mm -hmm. related to odor, odor masking. For example, we test it here. So you smell stuff? Yes. These are what we call a reference must that basically are going you. to help you Musty, identify. cheesy, What's musky? the difference aroma? between musty that, and musky? Also, do I don't remember. Come on. One has smell smells? professional. One has more musk, Good. one has more musk. It's the, the, walk it, the walk one's a K and one's a T. One is pleasant. Ooh, that's not bad. So that's actually a reference for musty. It smells like a hippie. Oh, musty is like downright putrid. Like what a man smells. Like a man's exactly. musty. What do you think oh, yeah? I think you've had this cotton ball. <laughs> Thank you. The I'm not smelling here. I smell like dusty memories. Ew. But once you have all this dialed in, I might need a bucket. You can move on to a okay. live subject. You have evaluated some aromas. You have identified some intensities as well. For the real thing, let's do some Now most people don't. Evaluate. Unbeknownst to a lot of people, if you tell, I sound very nasally in this. I was actually recovering from oh. a sinus infection. So you couldn't fully smell no. that? No. So you didn't get the worst of it? But here's how bad it was. If it was still that bad and I could barely breathe, that just goes <laughs> to show you. Gross. How brutal this actually was. Evaluate some underarms. I quit. After applying deodorant to only one armpit and getting a little exercise in the field, subjects are around. primed and ready for evaluation. Now, now this guy right here, love him to death, uh -huh. subject 917 we referred to him as, uh, he wore on purpose his most rank, disgusting shoes. You just smell their feet? Oh yeah. Not just their armpits? Yeah, all of them. Now this was, I think her name was Pat. She's worked there for 30 years. She's been smelling armpits and feet for 30 years. Did you ask them what made them want to get into this profession? She's a legend. Not all legends. Oh. She, not, was, she was born to do this. Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear lab coats and a lot of Aquanet in their hair. Panelists like Pat and Dr. Bananas. Let's take this and put it under his arm that he has put the product <gasps> under. Is that is so is vile. Pungent? Uh huh. Is it musky? All of the above. We're gonna go about thirteen. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. I'm gonna be nice to you, I'm man. I'm so go uncomfortable. But when you really want to put oh, a product to the test, subject no. nine one seven is more than happy to help. Coming out already. Sweaty. We're gonna be north of ten on this one. Okay? So <laughs> Ew. Uh, so friend, bad. You're pungent, and we're gonna give you a fourteen on that one. I understand why so they didn't want to subjects, show this. And they have exercise, they have treated uh, one foot, and you're going to be evaluating the results. Let's just speak in layman's terms here. Mm -hmm. Even though me and you are both medical professionals, I'm going to be smelling their feet. That's exactly what you will do. I am a doctor, just so you know. Oh, you had to take oh, their buddy. socks off? Yes! <laughs> Were they Subject moist? Yes! <laughs> yes! And you be the worst smelling feet I've ever he seen. He had like a bunions. <laughs> Ew! Oh, cheesy, my friend, you are a bona fide fish. How do you know I if literally it's think your food is It doesn't meat. actually smell like cheese. No, but it has like, okay, if you smell cheese. I'm nauseous. Okay, if you if you were to smell cheese, you know how cheese has like a like almost like a damp, uh, <laughs> thick, like no. Yeah. Like I don't a, know like that she smells curdly, damp and thick. A curdly, dairy, damp, thick. It's heavy. It's a heavy scent. You know what I mean? It's a heavy, dank scent. That's kind of like cheesy with a little mold in there. Okay. That's how you describe it. You know? Would you describe your feet as cheesy? No. Mine actually, I would describe mine as, um, mine smell like, uh, Rainbows and butterflies. All right. All right. <laughs> We've had better answers. <laughs> Sweaty? You're sweating up to your knee. We're going to go about 13 on that. Come on, Cinderella. Let's get that glass slipper off. Oh. Today, I never thought I'd be saying this. Oh, he has dusty but feet. But I voluntarily oh. smelled another man's armpits and feet. It was a very traumatic experience. <laughs> Your foot smells like a petting zoo. Borderline <laughs> cool and unusual punishment to my nostrils. Boys, listen, we're all getting Manny petties after this, okay? Okay. His foot really okay, did smell like a petting zoo. The results are in. That's so the results gross. are in. So what do we got here? In general terms, the results show that you need more training. Now, are you sure the machine that you put my numbers into has been calibrated properly? It has been calibrated. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. It's all right. It had, it's probably I just think my nose, nose that isn't quite calibrated. I will say this. After what I went through today, I have 
a profound respect for what you guys I do. do. And next time I go to the drugstore, I'm gonna look at all the items on the shelf completely differently. So, doctor? Next doctor, time you go doctor? and you buy deodorant or <laughs> foot powder. You, you both you guys you and, foot uh, powder. Yes, you do, I've caught you using foot powder. Yeah, next yeah. time you go to the, to the store and you buy foot powder, okay, Morgan? I want you to look at that foot powder and know that, 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 that a doctor like me had to go through hell and back just to put, get that sold on the market for people like you to, to use foot powder. I'm pretty sure they said that um, you didn't pass the test. No, what does he know? 